Okay, Augustine, I um, want to start off by saying in a short period of time, I think you've made a lot of progress. And there's one thing that I think will, will, will help you out uh, that we've still got a lot of time to work on this summer. And that is, I would love to see you gain some more ground with your stride. And I'll, I'll show you why in just a second. Um, I can't draw when I have a split screen up, but I want you to see Walker next to you and see how he keeps going forward as he gets into the ground. Keeps going forward as he goes into the ground with his front toe. Forward, okay? As we get caught a little short, you can see as we are coming down, we're almost coming back a little bit. If we kept going forward with our front foot, watch as your heel comes down and watch your front side. See how we've lost all of that in our swing, right? We can see how that weight has come forward. As our front heel is coming down, see how that weight has started to come forward. And that's just energy that we have, that we have lost. Now, Walker, as he reaches and keeps going forward, as his front heel hits, it's an immediate, watch his belt buckle and his back elbow, he's able to engage. He's able to engage. See how the back elbow works independent of his hands, and right as his heel hits, he immediately gets into his rotation. He's able to immediately get into his rotation. So again, as we compare, as our heel gets down for a walker, versus as our heel gets down with you, you can see how Walker's already started to engage his back hip. And you can see his hands are still back in the slot. You can see how your hands are a little bit further away from your back shoulder as we've gotten that flop. And as you watch your back elbow and your hands, you can see how they just come together a little bit. And we can see how that weight has started to come forward, right? Whereas Walker keeps reaching with his front foot and then it's heel down and his belt buckle goes and his back elbow starts to drop. And you can see his top hand is still just a fist away from his back shoulder. And it, you can see as we come through, our arms just get a little bit ahead of us and it's just costing us some of our efficiency. He stayed down pretty well. We didn't quite get to extension. We got a little bit of an around action, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Um, I really want to see you work the rest of the summer on getting that reach with our front foot, that reach with our front foot. And you can see how you're going forward, but if you kept going forward, right, we could keep our weight on our back hip instead of getting that wasted motion right there. And you can see how if we got that right right there, we can see number one, how much how much weight we've already lost, um, you know, how much energy we've already lost versus as his heel hits, we can see how much he's already engaged his lower half, which makes a more efficient route to the ball, you do a nice job compensating there, pulling straight through. You have a lot of good things going on. I just think we can be more efficient. We'd be able to stay back on more pitches and we would get a lot more pop if we lost that part. Again, Walker's heel coming down there, right? And we're gonna do some things that, that help to get us to that point right there.